So today's mukbang is quesadilla from Wawa, candy from Wawa Sour Punch Bites, assorted flavors, strawberry, green apple, blue raspberry, and McDonald's fries. Yum. Ooh, I forgot to dip. Sorry for that. <sighs> Anyways, ready? So what should we do first? Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. I'm a kid. Get used to it. So, today's story time is childhood. So, Sorry. I'm a man. So, um, I'm eating. It was like really hard to do. Okay. So, okay. Okay, so, <laughs> so what I want to talk about is, is um, how I got lost. Yep, I got lost. Like, I got lost, say, like, two times. Trust me, it's not a great thing to get lost. So, the first time I got lost, we were, like, up at Sesame Street. Um, I I think it was like two years ago. It was not like a kitty place. There was kitty places, but we didn't go there. And um, so, so um, what we did was we we're having fun. Here's a sesame parade. I'm not really sure. Um, but so yeah, there was a sesame parade, and so um. We, my parents, I didn't tell, and my family didn't tell me where they were. So I just went in, and they were right here. They were like right behind me. So they let me go in. And then I was looking for them. I was like, where do they go? I actually looked everywhere. And so I ran off. Not to like get lost or anything. I, I ran off because I was looking for them. Um, and I couldn't find them anywhere. There was this one girl with her mom pregnant, I think, and her baby, too. Um, she was like, oh, just, what's wrong? And I was, like, crying. I was, like, trying to hold it in and all that. I was like, I can't find my family. And so they took me to the place where you find people, you know, so, like, when you're lost, you go somewhere. I forget what it's called, though. <laughs> so they like had all these kids not a lot um but they had kids there and they were lost too and there was games and all i was like you bring games here when you're lost so what, what kind of thing is that like who does that like what anyway so So that, what I, what, um, what I did was, so, what I did was, um, I stayed there. I was like, everything was going through my mind. I was like, this girl's here. I'm like, I'm going to sleep with her. I'm going to have to go to her home, sleep there. And my parents are going to, aren't going to find me. <laughs> And all that. And I was like, I think I look like a wreck. I was like, I was looking everywhere to see where my mom was. And she was looking for me. And so then she um looked, she um found me. 
in there and Tuck was just said we're going home straight away because I was lost and I was like is it really my fault that I got lost I mean where were you guys you could at least told me where you were like I'm a child but what okay so the second time was when my dad we were biking and my dad was running because he loves to run he's um he loves to go on marathons do stuff like that trust me do stuff like that Ooh, we can talk about that later yeah. anyway so he told me like we were right when I was riding my bike. He was telling me like, if you ever get lost, you go down that path. Well, today's your lucky day, Daddy. I got lost. So after after I got lost, um, so I was like riding and running, and he was running, and so I was like. Where did he go? He was like right behind me. He was telling me like to slow down, but I couldn't hear him. So I was like, wasn't this, wasn't this man just right behind me? Like, he was right behind me and I was riding my bike and I was like, where did he go? Like, you kind of think for a minute, it's like, where did you go? What happened? You kind of think for a minute, it's like, if you were behind me, how would you get lost? Like, I was, I wasn't that far away from him. Like, a bike and a man, like, my brother can catch up to me. But my dad was, like, really behind me, but my brother could catch up to me, so it's like, hmm. Anyway. Her. After that, <laughs> after that, um, this lady came driving up, saw, told me what happened, and I told her what happened, and she asked my what my dad's phone number was. It was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not telling my dad's phone number. What the heck's wrong with you? So, um, I told her. She called him. And. I saw his car. He was like. Right there. And I was like. Right here. After she was like right, he was like all the way back over there, and I was right here with this lady. So it was like, and so he came, found me, put me in the car with the Sam's. It's the most scary day of my life. You know, it kind of makes you wonder how does my dad lose to a young man if he can. Like, how? Really makes you wonder. Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, okay, Daddy. I'll think of that. Okay.
my god, that's so horrible. Why do I look like that? Why do I look like I'm white? I'm not white. Ah! Why do I look like that? Anyway. Um. So, I'm talking about karate. I love doing karate. I've been doing it since I was three. I still am. So, for... For seven years now, almost. No, not seven years. Going on eight years. Um, and it's it's really good. I like it. I like. I really like it. Oh, this is one time. So back when I didn't think McDonald's was disgusting. I think it's fine, but their meat tastes like horse, so I don't trust them. Um, anyway, so I didn't go to class, and I didn't do, I don't think I did class at all, and so, um, what I did was, I sat there, yeah, oh, this is embarrassing, how many of you have those embarrassing moments, where you just wish, oh, why did I ever do that, yeah, I did so many times, so many times. Comment down below, tell me. Because I'm really want to know. Anyway. So she took off, the instructor took off my socks. You know what she said? It smells like cheese. And I was three. Oh, in front of kids that could talk like me. I think I was four, probably, yeah, four. I hated that so much. Like, never again. Anyways, so, um, I didn't go to class, and I was, I was really angry for some reason. And so my dad didn't give me McDonald's and all. Anyways, oh, it's a button over here. I'm... Never mind, I just forgot. Anyway, so, so my dad likes likes the karate. I do too. There's nothing wrong with it. But he wants me to do a tour, um, a tournament. I re I do. I'm great at sparring. Um, and it's like. Oh no! Heck no! It's like. Yeah, I have great skills, but you want me. He's like, say he's gonna buy me stuff. Say he's gonna um get me um far if I do it. And I'm like, no. I hate tournaments. Last tournament I did um was at a karate another karate studio and um it's it's up to me and. Um, I didn't win, and I was actually quite sad, and I don't want to do it again. And, well, I finished up. And, um, I told myself I would never do it again. I lost to some big hit because I didn't, couldn't beat, I, I don't know what's going on with me. It was just that, it's, I guess I was going in my head, like, can't make a new contact. So I lost. I hit him. I hit a guy that was this tall. This tall. This tall. Taller than me. And a little boy like me, um, I think I should have won because, and he, I just think I should have won, and he, I can tell he was hurt, and I'm like, 
I learned in karate, a little, a little, per, um, big person, a little person, like, yeah, has to do everything you can, or you just get, you just get, and I'm like, you are a big person, I'm a little person, okay, let's get that straight, I don't win, no, 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 I, I do win, I do win, win because I I should have won. And it's like ridiculous. Cause it's like I should have won. I don't like this lady at all. Like what's going on? Do you see? You see my handsome face. I don't know what's going on. Like, why is it like that? Anyway. So it's like I don't win. Like, what the heck? It's not fair. Let me see. You can see. So it was like it was not fair at all. So. It was like, Why? I was so mean. Hey, it's that. Look. I should have won. Oops. Why do I see the red one? Scar. So I was like, you think about that. Okay, I'm gonna fall now. Anyways, my dad wants me to do tournaments, and I'm like, I don't like doing those stuff. Like, my friend, let's call him Brian, and he likes, Brian likes doing it, and his dad loves him doing it too. So, Brian loves doing tournaments. I wouldn't say love. He's, I don't think he really loves doing it, but I guess he likes it because he does it with his friends. So, I'm not Brian. You see, me and Brian are different. We are best friends. We knew each other. He's a year older than me. We, we knew each other since I had diapers on. And so, like... <laughs> Me and Brian are really different, and we're not related, so, yeah. My dad wants me to do all this stuff, but I don't like doing it. No, I don't want to do it. And he says he's going to buy me stuff, like, that's going to happen. Because usually that stuff works. But tournaments, heck no. I ain't going to do no tournaments. Are you kidding me? Keep saying Aaron Grande. <sighs> yeah, I follow Ari. Anyways. Oh, me and Ari are besties. I'm kidding. She doesn't even know me. Anyway. I will come up with new stories. Um, Drowning stories. Those would be fun, right? Anyway. Um... I think I did, I think I did a tutorial, I think I did a mukbang this month, I'm not sure, but I don't just do mukbangs, I do dance covers, and I'm going to do a tutorial coming next month, okay, I, I will, I will do all those, um, tutorials, you know what, for, you know how I'm going to do, I'm not only going to do, um, like, I need to finish the t t tutorials. Like, I said I would do it, so I will. So, I won't, if I, that, that means I can't do dance covers in two months. Okay. Yeah, so. Tell your friends because I am fun, and you know that is number one. I rhymed. I like you.
Anyways, I'm so full. Usually, I'm a boy who eats like 24-7. I'm not even kidding. I eat, look at this face. But I look handsome, don't I? I need braces. Eat sugar, kids. Sugar is good for you, it's healthy.